The latest addition to Cavan's architectural heritage is the Johnston Central Library in Farnham Street. When Germaine Greer visited, she said, 100 small touches make this space seem like a library in a great house where every family member could find a space. The building has an open civic space to the front, which allows the natural light and unobstructed flow in through the large front windows. This light moves up through the building and changes with the progression of the day. The library has all that you would expect, from a modern IT section to specially designed areas for exhibitions and areas for children and adults to do research or just enjoy the latest bestseller. The building has access for everyone and has won national and international awards for excellence in accessibility. The library also houses the Tourist Information Office, the Arts Office and the Genealogy Research Centre. The nearby Cathedral of St. Patrick and Phelan overlooks Farnham Street and adjacent Church Street. With its 68 metre spire and flanking domes, the cathedral was completed in 1942. The vast interior is styled like a basilica and extensive use is made of different colours of Italian marble and beautiful stained glass windows. Catton is an ideal place for a writer to live in. Its unique landscape, the Quilca Mountains, the River Shannon at its source, the drumlands and the many lakes are all inspirational. Cavan's proud literary history is available in the new Johnston Library beside us. Here voices from the past, uh, in Irish and in English, mingle with the well-known Cavan literary figures of today. The arts facilities are excellent. The County Museum in Bally James Duff, Rahmer Theatre of Virginia, home to the professional theatre group Living Dread, offer spaces for art to flourish in. Cavan County Arts Office is happy to assist all artists living in the area in their many disciplines of art, like music, the visual arts, literature, dance. They all offer uh, something new and unique to the county. And Cavan op opens up the widest possible horizons for artists living here. And it offers, I suppose you could say, peace and tranquility to us all. So these are some of the reasons why I've chosen to live here and continue to live here. Cavan Town has excellent facilities for sport and leisure activities. The Cavan Town Leisure Complex has a fully equipped gym and 25 metre swimming pool. Golfers will be spoiled for choice with an 18-hole course at Cavan Golf Club as well as the recent addition of nine holes designed by Jeff Howes at Farnham Estate. Cavan Tennis Club is also centrally located behind the Johnston Central Library. Just up the road from the Farnham Estate, extreme paintballing is a great way to let off a bit of steam. Or for those team building days, any size group can be catered for. Let's go! If you fancy leaving dry land behind altogether, the Cavan Canoe Centre offers the opportunity to explore the relatively undiscovered Loch Uther waterways and intriguing Inishmore Island with all its associated wildlife, archaeology and history. The centre offers kayak and canoe instruction, local nature and history tours, summer camps and complete day packages. Cavan has a strong tradition of Gaelic games and Kingspan Breffney Park is testament to this. On a match day, the park comes alive with colour and excitement. The ground is also available for open air concerts and music festivals. Cavan Equestrian Centre holds regular events like this, the Home Countries International, but there's always something going on, so whenever you're in Cavan, make sure to check out the website for details of what's happening.
the buzz of Cavan Town sits in perfect contrast to the peaceful tranquility of the surrounding lake-dotted landscapes. Reputed to have a lake for every day of the year, Cavan's waterways have long been a draw for anglers and with no license requirement, there's instant access to fishing for anglers of all ages and abilities. Back on shore, walking enthusiasts can explore a vast network of trails throughout the county. For the more adventurous, there's the nearby Marble Arch Caves Geopark. Industrial and business parks like this one, Century Business Park, adjacent to the N3, provide companies with modern, well-planned facilities, including car parking, office space and all-important broadband access. Calvin is the home of many national and international businesses. Companies such as Quinn Direct, Powell's Crompton Greaves and construction company P. Elliott are all located in the Calvin Town area providing employment and facilities to the local community and further afield. The Cavan Institute and Cavan Innovation and Technology Centre offer a foundation for education and training of a highly skilled workforce. Cavan also has access to national and international routes along the N3 corridor, so is well placed to do business. Cavan Town was designated as a hub town under the National Spatial Strategy. We have an abundance of talented young people, well-educated workforce. We have a vibrant business community. We are also ideally located between Dundalk and Sligo and close to Donegal. Business in Cavan can avail of a highly educated and dedicated workforce, modern communications and a stress-free environment in which to do business. As you can see, Cavan Town has everything you might need for business, leisure or somewhere to simply relax and unwind. Thank you for watching our presentation. If you need to know anything more about Cavan, please see the details at the end of the programme. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you here soon.